Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the uh, roundup of what was inside the Patch Tuesday updates that we received yesterday for Windows, January 14th. So today we are Wednesday, January 15th and Patch Tuesday updates were of course released because it's the second Tuesday of the month of January 2020. Now there were a lot of fixes in there. Uh, first, a lot of you are always asking me, you know, did the rollout go well? No um, unusual event until now. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary and the what I call the background noise of people complaining. So that means that it's a relatively quiet rollout from what I see. Once again, there's always people that have problems, but, um, you know, a lot of people are quick on the uh, it's Windows fault or Microsoft fault. But a lot of people have different ways of using their PCs. Sometimes things they do can actually break Windows updates. So what is in there? 49 security fixes in yesterday's uh, Patch Tuesday. One of them affecting only Windows 10. So it's not a Windows 7. If you're on Windows 7, you got your last Patch Tuesday. It's not a Windows 7 problem. It's really just Windows 10. The NSA discovered a big security flaw in the uh, Windows management of its uh, basically cryptographic service, which basically what it does is uh, simply um, check out the valid or validity of the uh, security certificates. So basically what this could do is that attackers could spoof digital certificates or perform a man-in-the-middle attack and uh, basically do what they want. And so the NSA was behind this uh, discovery and they actually notified Microsoft, which is nice since they could have just said nothing and use it to attack Windows machines. Um, basically, in there we have, if we separate the 49 uh, security flaws, 41 are important. Seven are classified critical, and one is moderate. So what's the difference between all the three? Cl critical means bad guys already know about it, or it's really easy to actually um, use that flaw to exploit Windows. And so as, of course, we have now know about them, bad guys will start working on those. 41 important. Important means that it's not immediately a danger, but it's better to fix to avoid having problems. And moderate means that it's a difficult one to really exploit, often needing you people to actually have physical access to the computer. Uh, basically, in these flaws, we have, of course, that um, event, that spoofing event. There's quite a few uh, critical Windows remote desktop gateway flaws that are actually fixed also. So basically from a .NET framework uh, to common log file system drivers, um, Microsoft graphics component, even Microsoft Office has important vulnerabilities. So you can check that out if you have Office. Make sure you update everything. Um, that also updates um, your Office software when you actually have Windows updates and so on. So there's a Windows Security Bypass uh, vulnerability the uh, crypto API spoofing vulnerability, that's the NSA one. When Win32 information disclosure problem and so on. So a lot of little things in there to uh, fix and it's important to actually apply these fixes as there's a lot of uh, vulnerabilities that are fixed. So in total, including um, if you have Microsoft Office, it's 49 flaws that are actually fixed including one super critical for Windows 10. So that's why it's important to actually update your system. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.